Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to do some tests for halide ions. Now for the halide ions we add the same reactants but we get a different colour precipitate form depending on which ion is in the compound. So I have solutions of chloride, bromide and iodide ions. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some nitric acid to each one. Then I'm going to add a small amount of silver nitrate solution and we will see a precipitate form. So I'll add that to chloride first. And we can see a white precipitate has formed of silver chloride. So now if I add it to bromide, we should see a different colour precipitate form. Now, it is very pale, so I'm going to put it next to the chloride, and you should see that it's slightly darker. And we say that this is a cream precipitate. So now, let's add some silver nitrate to our iodide ions. And again, we can see a precipitate has formed. It is slightly darker than the bromide precipitate, and it's more yellow than it is cream. So that is the test that I can do to identify my different halide ions. So now that we've seen the test for halide ions, there is a different test for sulphate ions. So we're going to need some different reactants. So now, instead of my previous reactants, I'm going to use hydrochloric acid and then I'm going to add barium chloride and I should see a different precipitate form. So I'll add that hydrochloric acid first to my sulphate ions and give it a small mix. And then when I have my barium chloride solution, we should see a precipitate form. And if we look at the colour of that precipitate, it is quite clearly white. So that is the test for sulphate ions. going to test for carbonate ions. Now in this test we do it slightly differently to the other ones and the reason for that is we, we end up testing for the gas evolved when carbonates react with acid as a way to identify them. So we add acid to our sample containing carbonate ions and as we know from earlier topics that will then produce carbon dioxide gas. So if we bubble that gas through lime water, it should turn cloudy. So I'll just add my acid. And as that's bubbling through, we should start to see the lime water sample turning cloudy. And that is the positive test for carbonate ions and it looks like it has turned. So if I move the tube out, we should be able to see it more clearly. Sometimes you could be asked to identify both the metal and the non-metal ion in an unknown sample. So you would have to use a series of these tests to make sure that you identify both of those types of ions. 